Thank you for being a part of our Spirit and Truth virtual experience today. We pray that you felt the divine presence of God and received the life-changing word that has the power to transform your life. Remember, this is not the end, but just the beginning of a deeper relationship with God and connection here at Spirit and Truth. And last but not least, remember, God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. And every tongue shall confess the name of Jesus. That's your word. So, Father, we thank you for your word that still lives. We thank you for your word that still saves. We thank you for your word that still delivers. Would you open your mouth and shout about the blood of Jesus? Hey, glory to your name, God. And it is so. Hey, who should command So under let me hear you. So Father, I thank you once more and again for your blood. The command of Messiah that continues to cover us. So even now, Father, do what you want to do in this place. Captivate us now. Take over our mind. Take over our soul. Take over our spirit. You take over us in the name of Jesus. Open up your mouth in the room. Open up your mouth in the room. Open up your mouth in the room and give God the glory. Open up your mouth in the room and give God praise. I wish you would cry out to the one that saved you. Cry out to the one that delivered you. Cry out. Yeah. Come on, give him another yes. Yes, down in your soul. Give him another yes. Yes, come on, son of the here. Yes, Jesus. Yes to your will, God. Yes to your way, God. Yes, Lord. We will obey to your word. And it is so. And it is so. And it is so. Come on. And it is so. Open your mouth. And it is so. And it is so. And it shall not be otherwise. Come on. Put your hands together and give God praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. Give him praise. For he's worthy of the glory. Give it to God right now.
before the Lord in prayer. Father of mercy and of grace, we thank you. Hallelujah. You are good. You are mighty. You are strong. And there is nobody like you, Jesus. We can search all over and still we'll find nobody who can love us like you. Nobody who could change us like you, Jesus. And so we give you praise tonight. God, we think and re remember in our minds uh, the shame, the ridicule that you endured. All that you went through, God, just to get up on the cross and die for us. And we came together on a Friday night just to say thank you. Thank you, God, for enduring it. Thank you, oh God, that it was not nails that held you to a cross, but it was your love for us. And we came to say thank you for loving us so much. Thank you that your love is undying. Thank you that your love is unfailing and your love is unmatched. We ask that you meet us tonight, Father. Those with humble hearts, with clean hands and pure hearts, meet us in the service, God. Let your anointing fall, God, that destroys every yoke, God. Break every chain, God. Loose every fetter, God. Give somebody their strength back. Give somebody their power back. Give somebody their joy back. Give somebody their peace back. And we'll be so careful to give you glory. Let my shot. Be so careful to give you honor. And be so careful to give you praise. In Jesus' name, amen and amen again. Amen. Praise the Lord, everybody. Amen. Our scripture. Amen. Our scripture is coming from Psalms 150. And it says, Praise ye the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty acts. Praise him according to his excellent greatness. Praise him with the sound of the trumpet. Praise him with the sultry and harp. Praise him with the temple and dance. Praise him with string instruments and organs. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Praise him upon the high shoulder cymbals. Let everything, let everything, let everything that had bread praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You do it. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise you the Lord, for the word of the Lord is blessed. Do me a favor and find a neighbor real quick and tell him, neighbor, I came to praise him. Tell him I'm going to need your help giving him praise. Tell him he's done so much for me, I can't do it by myself. I need every hand I can get. This is Holy Week. Praise is comely before the upright. Take 20 seconds and do what you were created to do. Come on, Zion, come on. You didn't come here for a song. We came here to glorify the God of our salvation. A God that, hey, hey, went to Calvary's cross, was buried. Hey, glory to God. Anybody grateful for the ultimate sacrifice? Worthy is the lamb that was slain for the sins of the world. Come on, somebody lift up your voice, shout worthy, 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 worthy. Woo! He's a worthy God. Man, I got to move. Lift those hands all over this room. He's a, woo! Y'all just going to have to forgive me. I know some of us have grown very, very familiar in common with this story, but I'm grateful for the sacrifice. I'm grateful that, that he, God sent a lamb, hey, glory to God, hey, that was sent, hey, to save the sins of a sin-sick world. He was the only atonement, somebody glory, hey. Woo! Hey, glory to God. Father, we just came to say we're grateful that you did. You clothe yourself in humanity just to save a wretch like me. 
Somebody lift your voice so higher. Come on, church. Come on, this is a sacred time. Glory to God. Hey, this is a holy time. Let us not forget. Glory to God. Let us not get calm and let us not take it for granted. Worthy is the Lamb. Oh, na ma na na worthy. Oh, na ma 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 na worthy. Worthy, worthy, worthy. I got a song to sing, but worthy, 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 worthy. Woo! Worthy is the Lamb that was slain for the sins of the world. Worthy. Woo! I know his name is Jesus, but I call you worthy. I ain't got nobody to help me here. I call you worthy. Worthy is the land that was slain. I'm trying to move on. Try not to lose it up here. Hey, I'll never know so your voice in the room. Come on, church. I'll never I want you to sing it with conviction this time. I'll never, I'll never.
church. I'll never know. today sing church worthy is your name Jesus you deserve I love it worthy worthy is your name you deserve I just got one more. I need y'all to lift y'all hands all over the room. You thought I was worth saving. So you came to. Y'all ain't come to work. You thought I was worth. Hey, so you cleaned me up inside. You thought I. Hey, I feel it. So you said. So I can be free. You thought I was worth You thought I was worth saving. You can't. You thought I was worth saving. I feel Jesus. I feel the glory of the Lord resting in the room. Come on, church. That's a sin. You thought I was a You thought I was a so I can be hey, Shonda. I can, I can tell one more time. You thought I was worth saving. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you can Shonda the name of hope. Come here, church. You thought I was Hey, so you clean me up. You thought I.
strength. I change out the strength. I give you glory. I bless your name. Cause tragedies are coming place. All kind of diseases. People are slipping away. There are faults with our homes. No place seems to be safe. But as for me, all I can say is thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your sacrifice. Thank you for the blood. Thank you for your blood. For the nails in your hand. For the nails in your feet. They pierced you in your side. For the crown of thorns. You are bruised for my iniquities. The chastisement of my. With every one of your stripes. Don't you know that you're healed? You're healed from lupus. You're healed from diabetes. You're healed from bone cancer. Breast cancer, skin cancer. Yeah! Yeah! Will you wait till everything looks good and in order? But will you bless him right now? I'm gonna bless him. I may be tired, but I'll give him praise. I may be upset, but I'll give him praise. Somebody bless him with the fruit of your lips. Yeah!
but let me be honest if nobody else is going to do it I can say you took the fall 365 more times and it still wouldn't suffice with how much he had to cover I need you to be honest with your neighbor real quick and tell him neighbor maybe you didn't run the tab up but I ran up the tab but he paid the bill he took favor find a neighbor real quick and tell them neighbor just in case hey you ain't cross every team I can guess that if it had not been I'll never forget what you done for me. I'm gonna have to walk away, Deacon George. I feel glory in my feet. Jesus, I'll never forget how you set me free. Jesus, I'll never forget it. You brought me out. Jesus, I'll never forget. No, how can I forget? How you brought me out. I feel Jesus. How can I forget? How you set me free How can I forget How you brought me out Jesus, I'll never forget No, never Never Oh I had a voice to thank it. You, Lord, for all you done for me. I need some blood wash believers that got your own testimony of what the blood had to cover for you and your family. Throw your hands up in the sanctuary and shout it, thank you. Lord, for you done for me. One more time. Oh, you, you, for you done for me.
thank you, sir. Hallelujah. Lord, we thank you for your blood. We thank you for your blood. We thank you for the blood. We're so excited that you have took the time out to join with us to celebrate our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Even those that are watching online, we thank God for you. We let you know that you are here at the right time. You are in the right place. another let's greet one another everybody find somebody you didn't ride with and tell them it's good to see you tonight I'm glad to be shouting on your own glad I've got a praise in the neighborhood tonight come on everybody in those rises I need y'all to greet somebody in that overflow I need you to greet somebody hey, nah, 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 nah. We might as well go ahead and give God praise even as we welcome one another tonight. Everybody clap your hand. Oh, yeah. I said everybody clap your hand. I need to hear some more hands in this house. Come on. Oh, said everybody. Clap your hand. Ah, 
I need a few more hand claps watching online. Hit that share button. Tag somebody and tell them to join you in the cyber sanctuary. Come on over where the table is spread and the feast of the Lord is going on. Yeah, 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 yeah. God bless you tonight. Listen, listen, hold on, Matt, hold on. I need you to look at somebody real quick and tell them, say, neighbor. Now come on, talk to him. Tell him, say, neighbor, the reason I'm praising God on Good Friday is because his death certificate became my birth certificate. Tell him, I'm only here because one Friday he died. You ought to give him 30 more seconds right there, right there. I didn't know we had room to run. Go ahead, run for everybody. Be the intercessory runner tonight. Woo yeah, Lord. We got a long way to go. If you're glad that he died, open your mouth and give God praise all over this house. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Tell somebody one more time as you take your seat, I'm only here because he died. I'm only here. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm only here. I'm only here because he died. I'm only here because they hung him high. They stretched him wide. He hung his head and for me, he died. And that's why we give him the glory tonight. We reiterate uh, that welcome that has been extended and established. And we let you know that you're in the right place and you're here at the right time. Would you do this one more time? Smile at someone you haven't talked about this week and tell them, I'm glad to see you tonight. I'm glad, I'm glad. Uh, that's right, that's right. Come on, you need to be friendly to them because you're going to end up shouting on their shoes before the night's over. You might end up bucking into them before the night's over. So you need to go ahead and make friends now. But I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord. And we want to let you know that you are in the right place. And not only those of you that are watching or sitting here in person, but can we thank God for those that are watching around the world? Can we thank God for the cyber sanctuary? Come on, we can do better than that. We can do better than that. Amen. We want you to lean on that chair, but move your little coffee table out of the way and uh, turn your living room into a praise party because certainly God has something special tonight. We've got some of the best gifts anywhere uh, right here in our church. Can we thank God for all of our leaders, uh, Pastor Robinson and Pastor Pollard and Elder Matisse, Elder Lawrence, Elder jo Come on, we can do better than that, everybody. These are our gifts, our gifts, our gifts, our gifts. And we salute them and honor the Lord for them. And then uh, it is such an honor and a privilege tonight. Uh, we're going to talk more in detail on Sunday. I didn't know they were going to be here tonight. But I need y'all to help me honor the Lord. We have with us again. She was here Sunday. Pastor Alicia Williams is in the house. Can we celebrate God for her tonight? We can do better than that. We can do better than that. I'm convinced. And while we're celebrating for the first time in this place, as this place, Pastor Jasper Williams the third, I need spirit and truth to go crazy, helping me celebrate God for the man of God. Come on, y'all. Let's honor God for him. Let's honor God for him. That's right. That's right. That's right. Amen. We'll talk more about that later, but it is always a pleasure and a privilege to have them. And then uh, we're certainly grateful for all of uh, all, all sides of Atlanta that in the house. I see some of y'all came down from the north side. I see some of y'all came uh, from the east side. I see some west side. I see some south siders in here. Uh, but I really think we ought to make noise because I think I heard a rumor that there's some South Carolina saints in the house tonight. And I wonder, is South Carolina in the house? Can I, can I find out if that's true? Spirit and truth, they're no, okay, no, amen. God bless you. North Carolina, I'm so sorry. I'm, that I was wondering what y'all was waiting on. Y'all waiting on me to get the state right. I'm so sorry. Y'all shout better than that for North Carolina being here. Our family, there we go, there we go. Oh yes, oh yeah, it's, it's, it's real church in here tonight. Uh, you know, it ain't real church till you have a church fellowship. Come on, y'all know. And it ain't no real fellowship till somebody get on, uh, uh, on a bus and drive over. They used to say, you can't have fellowship until you get two fellas in the same ship. And so we're grateful that we get to host tonight. And I want y'all to make noise. We're going to talk about him again in a minute. But we've got one of God's best in the house. He's going to tell the story tonight. Would y'all help me celebrate my friend and brother, Pastor Johnny Brown being with us tonight I need you oh I need you to do that come on it's his first time here with us let's celebrate him 
Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, he's going to tell the story tonight. He's going to tell the story. Uh, but wait a minute. He's not alone. Lady Brown is with him. Can we celebrate her? Oh, yes. It's a real fellowship tonight. We honor the Lord for them and uh, for the saints that came over from North Carolina. And we're just excited about all that God is doing. And uh, I don't want to delay uh, the service any longer than we have to because I want him to have room and time uh, to do what the Lord has called him to do. But we are excited about all the great things that are happening here at our church. Is anybody excited that we are finally in the temple? I just need to make sure I'm not the only one. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can see that more work has been done here in the temple. Uh, since we were here on Sunday, the walls have all been freshly painted. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. And now uh, in the morning, they're coming to finalize or finish the carpet, getting all that cleaned and together and uh, ready for us to do what we need to do. And Sunday's going to be special. But before Sunday gets here, the Springdale Fest takes place tomorrow. Oh, come on. Can we get excited about the Springdale Fest? Amen. Right here, March 30th, 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. It's going to be an amazing time. When you came in, you saw there's a stage. Uh, they've already started setting up some things for tomorrow. They've got porta potties and everything all outside. Uh, it's going to be an amazing time. The team has worked so hard uh, to bring us something for excellence in the spirit of excellence, rather. And uh, it's going to be a live DJ. It's going to be food trucks. There are going to be uh, games, free food, candy, all kinds of things. Uh, the county is coming out to do health screenings. They're bringing vehicles. It's going to be an amazing time. And we want to make sure that you are here to experience all that God has and all that God's going to do, all you have to do is show up and don't come by yourself. Bring somebody with you. Amen? But not only are we excited about the Springdale Fest tomorrow, oh, but somebody said early Sunday morning. Uh, yeah, you, you know what he did, don't you? He's going to get up on Sunday and because he's getting up, we're going to get up as well. And I'm excited about Resurrection Sunday here at Spirit and Truth. We have three services that you can join us at. We're mending our schedule uh, a little bit on Sunday. We have three services services opportunities uh, that you can join us with. Uh, we'll be at the South Campus at 7 a.m. for our sunrise service uh, at the South Campus there in McDonough. It's going to be a good time. Some of y'all got early brunch plans and so you want to come and celebrate the resurrection and then go on about your day but then right here at 10 and 12. Somebody say the temple. Yeah, we're going to be right here in the temple at 10 a.m. and 12 p.m. celebrating all that God has done. And I'm telling you now, you do not want to miss it. You do not want to miss it. If I were you, I would try to carpool on Sunday. Uh, if I were you, I would try to make sure that my friends know to be here on time uh, because we're already making accommodations to get more seats in and do different things. Uh, but you want to make sure that you are here. But not only are we excited about what God is doing on Sunday, but we have an exciting you youth group here at Spirit and Truth. Do I have any witnesses in here? Yeah, 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 yeah. We have an exciting youth ministry here that is growing and consistently evolving. And uh, we want you to know that on Saturday, April the 6th, our youth day is going to take place. Uh, Saturday, April the 6th, games and age-appropriate lessons and prizes and lunch is going to be served. It's going to take place on Saturday, April the 6th at 12 noon, and it's going to conclude at 3 p.m. We want all of our parents to make sure you register your child 17 and under they can wear their jeans and their jerseys they got a theme going on if you would just grab your phone and take a picture of that qr code so that you can make sure uh, that you are inside they've got indoor basketball oh all right all right hey, amen indoor basketball hoops darts and i don't know who approved none of this but i like that i'm gonna show up just to see what's going on darts and uh, yeah all right that's that sound that sound fun hey, amen there's gonna be cheerleaders and okay yeah y'all need to be there i'm i'm, I'm showing up on the 6th. I want to see what's going on. But we want you to be there in attendance uh, to get all that God has for you because we care about the whole family. Somebody say, yes, Lord. With that being said, let's move on. It's offering time here in the sanctuary. Can the blessed people? That's right. Only blessed people make some noise for the chance to give. Just, just the blessed folk. How about this? Only those of you that believe you're going to be the first millionaire in your family, you make some noise right here, right here, right here. There you are. Hey, all of those that believe debt has got to be canceled off your life, you make some noise right here, right here. 
Hallelujah to the name of the Lord. We want to honor the Lord with our substance on tonight uh, because we believe that it is because of his goodness and his giving towards us uh, that we are able to be who we are and do what we do. And so we do not have a hard time uh, giving unto the Lord that which is his. And so I want to invite everybody to get your best gift in your hand. I'm not going to auction us tonight. Uh, we're not going to take a whole lot of time uh, because we want to release this great choir to sing. <clears throat> and then we're going to get into the word of God tonight and uh, we're going to just enjoy the Lord. But I want everybody tonight to get your best gift in your hand. Now, if any service, if any night should really prompt you to be generous in your giving, Good Friday is a great night for that. Uh, because you do know that Good Friday is all about giving. Is that right? Prove it to me, Pastor. Well, Good Friday personifies the scripture for God so loved the world that he gave that's right his only begotten son and so giving then reminds God of himself and I want us tonight on this celebration where we commemorate the ultimate gift I want us to get the best gift that we can God listen to me God gave us his best gift I think we ought to give him our best gift and so I want all of our tithers on tonight you know here at Spirit and Truth we are 100% tithing church we believe in bringing God that's right we believe some of y'all lying but that's all right clap in faith amen yeah Hey, some of y'all tithe on the tithe, but that's all right. We'll deal with another tithe. But those of us that are in covenant, we believe in bringing God the first 10% of our increase because we recognize that when we trust him with the first 10%, he's able to multiply the remaining 90. And I'm here to tell somebody, you can do more with 90% that God has blessed than you can 100% that God has not breathed on. Can I get a witness in here tonight? And so if you're tithing tonight, normally in our other campuses, you know, we would come and line up. This is a different situation. And so I want all of those that are tithing tonight just to stand where you are. All of our tithers tonight uh, that are standing or tithing tonight. There you are. Look at these. Look at these. Look at these. Look at these. Amen. We're going to speak a blessing over all of our tithers as we so often do. Uh, but you know here at Spirit and Truth we have a number of ways by which you can give. You can give on Cash App at dollar sign give Spirit and Truth. You can give on Givelify at Spirit and Truth Church Inc. You can give on Zelle. Uh, you can give on whatever platform you want to. If you want to use your credit or debit card, you can come see the finance team here to my left, your right. If you want to use a Visa or a MasterCard or whatever card you want to use, if it is money in that account, you can go swipe your card right now and they will in fact take care of you but here's what I want to do I want everybody our tithers are already standing we're going to speak a blessing over them in a moment but I want everybody that can to get your absolute best gift in your hand what's my best gift I want to challenge as many of you that will to step out on faith with a seat of at least $100 on this good Friday night everybody that's believing God for open doors everybody that's believing God uh, for miracle signs and wonders I want you to get that seat of $100 and stand uh, right where you are all of those that are going to do it let me see you bless you one bless you two bless you three bless you four bless you five six seven eight nine y'all not clapping that's why they slowed down see there's Tim there you are there you are who else can I get to step out in faith with a gift of at least $100 I want you to do it even now watching online they have the prompts up on the screen there by which you can utilize bless you woman of God you can do it even at home even in this moment I want you to step out and honor the Lord now here's what I want to do somebody say everybody yeah. now y'all can do it better than that say everybody yeah. I want everybody to get your best gift. If you can, get at least $40 in your hand. If you don't have 40, get as close as you can. And everybody stand to your feet all over this room. We want to speak a corporate blessing over us. We want to speak a corporate blessing over us. That's right, even in the overflow and the underpass there. Amen. We're standing. Risers, everybody in the risers ought to be standing because that's the student section. Y'all young. Amen. Y'all, a lot of young, y'all, a lot of youth up there. Amen. All right. Everybody's standing. Everybody's standing. Put your seat in your right hand. That's your hand of strength and authority. Raise it as high as you see your income going. Some of y'all ain't raise it high enough. Raise it as high as you see your credit score going. How about that? Reach out of those 400s. Come on, come on. Reach out of them fives. Come on, reach and say, the seed I sowed tonight will unlock increase in my future. The seed I sowed tonight will unlock increase in my family. The seed I sowed tonight will unlock increase in my finance. Real loud, say, I'm wealthy prosperous I'll never be broke again if you're not jealous of your neighbor say you're wealthy you're prosperous you'll never be broke again let's all say it. we're wealthy we're prosperous we'll never be broke again in Jesus name amen and amen I want you they're passing those receptacles now 
I want you to go ahead and put your hands together if you know that the blood still works. Come on. Even as they're passing those receptacles, let's give God some glory in the place right now.
specifically for us. So I want all of us, even as the choir ends, uh, just to stand to our feet in reverence. We have one of God's greatest. One of God's greatest. With us on this Friday night. And here's the great thing. He did not come alone. Genesis Church is in the house on tonight. They have been on the highways and byways. And they, they still came to have some church after all that drive, and they still came here. Uh, he is one of uh, God's best all the way from North Carolina, uh, an amazing preacher. You know, I always say there's a difference between a preacher and a pulpiteer. He's a pulpiteer. Uh, he preaches with the spirit of excellence, and I am just excited about what it is that God is going to speak to us through him. So the next preaching voice uh, that you will hear is none other than our preacher on tonight, Pastor Johnny Brown. Amen? The choir's coming and he's the next voice you will hear. Come on, blood wash believers. Give God a praise tonight.
if you're grateful, really, really grateful for the blood to clap your hands and open your mouth. Shout out to God with the voice of triumph. If you kneel tonight, rest to your feet if you can. Slip your hand in the hand of your neighbor. And for the next about 30 seconds, I want you to pray for them as though you were praying for yourself. For the next 30 seconds, begin to bombard heaven like you know that God hears you. I want to intercede for your neighbor. Hallelujah. to show someone the way and enable me to say that my storage is emptied and I am available unto you. It's in the matchless, marvelous, mighty, and majestic name of Jesus the Christ of Nazareth. If you believe God and agree with that prayer, loose your neighbor's hand. Clap your hands like thunder. Oh, come down, church, praise him. Come on, open up your mouth with the fruit of your lips. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Tell your neighbor it's my season. Oh, you didn't prophesy that to nobody. Come on, tell somebody it's my season. Tell somebody else. This is, it is my season. Now lay hands on yourself and say, I shall recover it all. Hey, undying. Come on, church. I shall recover it all. I shall recover it all. Hey. Oh my, I shall, I shall recover it all. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Right before you're seated, can you help me celebrate the angel of this house? <laughs> oh, come on, church. 
Let's thank the Lord for the right reverend. <laughs> thank the Lord for Pastor Mark Moore. And uh, I know that spirit and truth that you know you are blessed to have one of the most sought out voices in the body of Christ. He is a general in this generation. And I am honored to call him not only brother, but friend tonight. Amen. Grateful to God. I, I do honor the Lord for my lovely wife. Can you help me celebrate? Lady Rachel Brown. Amen. You may be seated to your wonderful and incomparable staff here at the Spirit and Truth Church, your executive staff, God bless you. We are honored to be here tonight. I thank the Lord for uh, TGC. Y'all stand up, all y'all that came with us. Stand up, TGC, y'all. Amen. <laughs> Praise God. My church family is here, but then my biological family, which some are a part of my church family, but my biological family is here. Y'all stand up or wave or do something. I'm, this is my cousins right here. And uncle, amen. My aunt, I think my aunt, yes, my aunt is here. Amen. They are our residents of uh, the Atlanta, Atlanta uh, area. And uh, they thought it not right to be with us tonight. Amen. Uh, I'm grateful to be here in the temple tonight. Amen. in the temple and uh, the queen of Sheba comes and says to Solomon I've heard about it amen but the half has not been told the Lord is doing some great things and we're grateful tonight I'm certainly honored to be among some great men and women of God I thank the Lord for uh, our covenant brother, uh, CCFM, uh, covenant brother and sister, Bishop and Pastor Bellamy. Amen. That's... Amen. They didn't come to hear me. They came to support Pastor Moa. That's what that is. Amen. My nephew, AJ. Amen. Uh, praise God. Uh, and... Uh, Thank God for my brother, Overseer McCray. Amen. That's my brother in Christ and in fraternity. Amen. Praise God. Thank God for him. And I am blessed to be in the presence of a great man and woman of God that I admired from a distance and to be up and close and personal with them. It's a blessing. Let's thank the Lord for Pastor and Lady Williams. Amen. <laughs> Bless you. Amen. We are just so blessed be here and all those that are accompanying us musically from our church god bless you all right i don't want to belabor the moment tonight i want to just share just a few things that we believe the lord has given to us hopefully you'll pray with us in jesus name amen i want to go to the gospel of matthew chapter 27 and uh Elder Lewis was kind of in my message and didn't even know it. Amen. Matthew 27 and verse 38. Matthew 27 and verse 38. If you found it and physically able, would you stand with us tonight? Praise the Lord. to see our brother Arden, I think. Amen. Praise God. Good to see Brother Kiss tonight. Uh, there's probably more people that I need to see, but I can't see. I got new contact lenses today. And they're a little blurry. So y'all pray me through tonight. Amen. So I'm trying to praise God. <laughs> double it up tonight uh, Matthew 27 and uh, did I say verse 38 alright 
succinctly it says, then were there two thieves crucified with him, one on the right hand and another on the left hand. God bless you, you may be seated. this subject as the Lord will be our guide tonight. I want to preach from this subject, honor among thieves. Honor among thieves. Look at your neighbor to the right or to the left of you and say, neighbor, neighbor, neighbor. Come on, you must talk a little better than that. Say, neighbor, neighbor, neighbor. Tell them honor among thieves. Amen. Clap your hands like you believe God's going to speak to you tonight. By introduction, I want to deal with um, an interesting matter which is kind of near and dear to my heart, specifically in this season, I want to deal with the concept of honor in a postmodern era. And, um, and within that introduction, we will explore our thesis statement and then we'll go into the text. And um, we'll go into the text and <laughs> we'll lift up three things that will be our body in conclusion. We'll see the suffering. Let the church say the suffering. Thank you. We'll see the song. Let the church say the song. Thank you. And we'll conclude with the salvation. Let the church say salvation. Look at somebody else and say, honor among thieves. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Come on, clap your hands like you love him tonight. One of the most powerful keys, brothers and sisters, that a child of God can possess and use is honor. Because honor grants access. And honor allows one to tap into favor. And in a time in which many are focused on perfecting their performance instead of protecting their anointing, it is very important to note that the art of honor can get you into doors that your talents cannot. Yeah. Honor. Yeah. Trying to get a national platform and not being submitted to a local assignment is a sign of a lack of honor. Because the key to ascension is submission. Honor, tell somebody this, honor grants access. We have biblical and empirical proof to show you tonight because in the book of Exodus, we know chapter 20, in which we call the Ten Commandments. And verse 12 says, Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land. According to this scripture, if you honor 
you will have long life. Honor will give you extended life. That your days, Hebrew word is yom, which does not just deal with Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, but it deals with time and extension and life. Tell somebody not just days, but life. I'm determined to live. <laughs> I'm determined to live, not, not just exist, but I'm determined to have life. And there are some people that are lifeless, but they're living. But I'm, I'm determined to have life. And so Yom says that if you can participate in honor, then you will have life. You will have days and time. And then, of course, Proverbs 3, uh, verses 9 and 10 tells us that if we honor the Lord with our substance... We will tap into a level of increase and overflow. And so brothers and sisters, it is simple that if you honor him, he will honor you. What now is honor? What is honor? What is honor? It is the highest level of respect. It is to hold someone in high regard and to cause them to feel feel regarded let me say that again it is to hold someone in high regard but it is to cause them to feel and know that they have been regarded by you because brothers and sisters there are some people that may honor you but they're not going to let you know the level of honor that they have because somewhere in the midst of them recognizing who you are the enemy has planted seeds of jealousy and discord and rather them celebrate who you are in God they'd rather hold it back and be quiet because making you feel big makes them feel small but to honor someone is not just to hold them in high regard but to acknowledge that and to give them to feel that they are held in high regard let the church say honor and then you have the inverse of that brothers and sisters and the inverse of that is simply and succinctly that there are some people that talk with their mouth and act like they respect and honor you but they do not they they celebrate you and they say things about you but the problem is that their mouth and their motives are different and whenever we define manipulation manipulation is when someone's mouth and their motives don't match and brothers and sisters I'm not studying how much you tell me you love me and I'm not going to leave you and pastor I'm here for the long run and God sent me here and I'm going to have your back I don't care who leaves brothers and sisters it's not an issue of your mouth but it is a matter of the heart and I need you to begin to check the fruit of people that's in your life you do not need people in your life one that don't honor you and two that you cannot honor I wish to have somebody in here tonight that understands Understand that in this season I believe that God has been shaking the tree and there has been dead leaves that have been falling off and people that you have called your friends you discovered that they have just been poisonous attachments and even as the seasons must change in the natural and we go from fall into spring You've got to watch people's mannerisms and watch their motives and not just listen to their mouth because they will cry Hosanna and then they 
will cry, crucify you. It, uh, brothers and sisters, you may be seated. I've got about 30 minutes and I'm going to give you up. Yes, uh, there are those that will love you in your face. Mm -hmm. but they won't celebrate you on their social media platform you gotta watch them people uh -huh. that they only show up and comment under something that somebody's doing that's funny or something like that I graduated college and you didn't congratulate me uh, y'all ain't gonna help me preach I bought a new house uh, and you didn't have nothing to say about me uh, but if somebody put a meme with my face on it you all up under there lol lol and because you carnal LMAO because you ain't saved that's what you put. and so you up under all of that uh, uh, but you can't celebrate uh, and honor what God is doing uh, in my life and those individuals you cannot take with you uh, to the next level hallelujah uh, well, brothers and sisters let's move just a little bit further uh, mm -hmm. uh, yes uh, uh, show up to church. I'm talking about honor. Uh, you show up to your church but won't promote your church. Uh, and because you petty, because you petty, because you petty. If they don't give you attention at your church, uh, you start sharing other churches' lives and acting like that pastor done spoke something so prophetic in your life like you ain't never heard no word before. And it's all about attention, uh, which leads to a lack of honor. And so brothers and sisters, this thing, this thing that is called honor will cause you to access favor. It will cause you to access favor, especially in this season where so many are dishonorable that when you know how to walk with honor and walk in honor, when you know how to have honor, you become a rare commodity because sadly we are in a generation we are in a generation that does not know how to walk in honor honor seems to be a missing art form within our generation. Now please understand, I'm not maligning our generation because I love what God is doing in our generation, but one of our challenges is that we are challenged in the area of honor. We don't honor God. We don't honor others, and we don't honor ourselves. I can tell by how many boyfriends you had that you don't honor yourself. I, I can tell by your pictures that you really don't honor yourself. I, and so it is a lack of honor and in many instances we have become a generation that is honorless and therefore we are powerless and we don't even understand why but you are powerless because you are honorless how we don't even understand why we're powerless why we leave out of service and still fight anxiety why it is you need a therapist now I believe it I am grateful specifically in the African American community the rise of mental health and the attention to it but these things for the believers and those of us that have the Holy Ghost should be additions not necessity because when my heart is overwhelmed I thought I had a church here lead me to the rock that is higher than I if my therapist don't answer I'll still be alright because I know how to go to God in prayer 
But the reason why we are powerless in that area is because we don't honor many times what God is doing and the gifts that God has set before us. The word that God has already given to you. If you honor the vessel and you honor the word, some of the stuff that you are experiencing, you won't have to experience. If the man or woman of God tell you to go back home, you go back home. Y'all ain't going to help me preach. If he says, give me cake and I'm going to eat it, you give me cake and you and your house going to live. It is an issue of honor. Brothers and sisters, when you get to the place where we are walking in the season where we have the mindset of equality and we have lost the concept of equity because we are so focused on equality that you have to be equal and brothers and sisters you've got to understand that there is something called equity in the spirit that you gain with the weight of the anointing and I know you may be able to be talented and gifted and preach and run and prophesy and sing like somebody else but we're not talking about your equality we're talking about your equity do you have skin in the game have you gone through enough that will produce a weight in the spirit and brothers and sisters we must understand that just because we've got a few followers and a ring light and a high chair when you really need a high seat but you won't submit to nobody now all of a sudden we are equal to men and women of God that have years of experience and weight in the spirit but an anointing you cannot properly perceive is an anointing you will never receive if you cannot honor it you can't handle it I wish I had somebody in the room if you don't have honor you can't handle authority ah, brothers and sisters ah, let me move on ah, I think I got two more minutes my time is telling me in my introduction and so brothers and sisters sometimes sometimes it's not an issue of right or wrong I wish our generation could understand this it's not an issue of right or wrong it's an issue of honor Saul was wrong but David still had to honor him Eli was wrong but David or rather Samuel still had to honor him so much to the place that God did not release the word until he honored his spiritual authority God called him for everybody they're talking about I don't need a pastor oh Jesus I don't need nobody to tell me what God is telling me we're not telling you that you need somebody to tell you what God is telling you but you need to have somebody to clarify what you heard you can have a calling but you'll never get a release until you get an honor for the spiritual authority God called Samuel but he did not speak to Samuel until he got released from Eli and Eli with his overweight self Eli with his blinding self Eli with his picking and choosing who he rebukes self because you do know he rebukes Samuel but he won't rebuke rebuke his nasty children but even with all of that the bible said it wasn't until Eli said go back and say speak lord no, 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 no. I need 
need about 20 of you tonight that's on the verge of something great and you need clarity and revelation to lift your hands and say speak Lord for your servant hears you may be seated brothers and sisters let's just get out of this introduction I believe uh, Pastor Moore I believe that one of the greatest opponents to honor is insecurity uh, insecurity uh, and jealousy uh, will cause people not to walk in honor uh, that spirit of jealousy is a nasty one uh, or oh, you don't hear what I'm saying uh, jealousy will have you hating somebody that you need to learn from uh, I said jealousy and insecurity uh, will have you uh, making up stuff and creating things and narratives in your your head uh, about somebody that you really have been assigned to honor uh, but brothers and sisters uh, when we begin to compare we'll begin to compete uh, uh, but you need to be able to be secure enough in your assignment uh, to say I honor what God is doing in your life uh, I honor what God is doing for my brother here in Atlanta uh, and in this nation and in the most parts of the world you've got to be able to honor that because if you can't honor then that means you are disqualified for promotion uh, and high five somebody and tell them I want what's coming to me uh, I'm going to help push you uh, I'm not going to hate on you uh, y'all ain't going to help me preach uh, I'm not going to get in clicks and I'm sick of these clicks in church uh, Lord help me uh, I'm sick of because the problem is that there are tricks in clicks uh, y'all don't even like each other anyway uh, y'all just have a common enemy uh, but when you move that out of the equation uh, then what do you have in common these clicks everybody going to Applebee's and the new people you don't even invite out the church y'all going to Waffle House and we got new folk that been visiting and you don't even get their name and tell them come on with me it's because of insecurity you're holding on to positions and you don't want nobody to take it from you but I want to tell you brothers and sisters that when God sends somebody uh, that is uh, anointed to do uh, what you have been graced to do, uh, you need to scoot out of the way uh, and say you are anointed for it and I honor that anointing. Uh, Lord have mercy uh, God gives grace for a space uh, we needed somebody to open up service and sing uh, but you know you ain't no singer uh, you know you can't hold uh, a note in a wet paper bag uh, with holes in it uh, and so you up here binding down the service uh, when God sends somebody who can really sing uh, you got an attitude now uh, instead of scooting out the way uh, and honoring that anointing Uh, look at somebody and tell them I honor you uh, mm, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, hallelujah there's glory when honor uh, comes in uh, we don't have to push and fight and pump and prime uh, when there's a culture of honor uh, come down church uh, miracles can take place uh, when there's a culture of honor uh, hallelujah the glory can flow freely uh, when there is a culture of honor and I'm going to tell you frankly as I'm hastening brothers and sisters I believe God is sick of it mm -hmm. sick of all of these schisms and isms and when your person got the mic you standing up clapping when somebody you don't like got the mic you looking like I believe God is sick of you hallelujah and one of my little students I teach I teach middle school one of my students said Mr. Brown we, we sung a song in our church Sunday bless his heart he was special he said I said well, what's the song you sung he said we sung he started singing the devil is a liar God is exhausted I said wait a minute the devil is what a lie and God is what and I was getting ready to correct him but 
But you know what? Mark, God really is exhausting. Because I know you know Jehovah Jireh. I know you know Jehovah Rapha. I know you know Jehovah Sick Canoe. But I'm trying to introduce you to Jehovah Sick of you. Because he is tired of all of this division. Uh, hmm. uh, hallelujah he wants to move uh, you may be seated brothers and sisters and so uh, uh, and so brothers and sisters uh, the thesis of this little message is simple uh, that uh, we begin to see that Jesus uh, is the personification of honor Jesus shows us how to maintain honor uh, around dishonorable people uh, and in dishonorable environments uh, so much to the place where uh, by the time he holds on to his honor uh, even while being around dishonorable people that him holding on to his honor begins to shift the trajectory of one of the dishonorable thieves that was hanging beside him he shows us how to suffer with honor uh, hallelujah uh, I said he shows us how to suffer with honor uh, that you going through uh, but you ain't got to look like it uh, you going through but you ain't got to look pitiful uh, you're in a low season uh, but you don't have to put your business out there uh, and I'm telling you right now uh, that we got to grow to the place uh, where we stop trying to be overly vulnerable to everybody uh, and the reason why people like vulnerability and being vulnerable uh, is because vulnerability gets them attention uh, y'all ain't gonna help me preach uh, hallelujah uh, so your post is this is too much for me uh, your post is I'm getting ready to take my life uh, y'all ain't gonna help me preach uh, that I just can't handle this no more uh, and you looking for people to jump to your aid and attention uh, when you really don't want deliverance you just want attention you don't want resolve you want attention you don't want solution you want attention oh but brothers and sisters growing up they would sing a song that say i'm learning how to live holy hmm Lord, I praise you right now. I'm going to give you up, church. I've learned how to live right. Hallelujah. I learned how to suffer. Because if I suffer, I said if I suffer, I say if I suffer, Hi, yeah, yeah. Come on, church. I want to preach to some people that's going through some stuff here. Hallelujah. But I've learned how to suffer. There's a way to suffer and still keep your hands lifted. There's a way to suffer and still keep your praise. There's a way to suffer and still stay on your assignment in church. We shouldn't have to be looking for you because you had a bad week. It's a way to suffer and still be consistent. And if I suffer, I get gain eternal why don't you shout it down your row and say this is the victory row uh -huh. tell them I prophesy to everybody on this row that's been in a suffering season that God's getting ready to turn it 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 gonna turn it around and so this is this is now what the text is tailored to teach us tonight 
Hallelujah. That the crucifixion, Dr. Williams, the crucifixion of Jesus Christ was historically, not just theologically, but historically the thing that shifted the trajectory of the entire world. I said historically, not just theologically, shifted the trajectory of the whole wide world. He died. Didn't he die? He died, brothers and sisters, and it was a violent death. He died, brothers and sisters. And it was a vicarious death. He died, brothers and sisters, and it was a death of his own volition. He said, no man takes my life. But I lay it down. All of this, all of this started with a kiss. Judas who had walked with him. Judas who was handpicked by him. Judas whose name literally is derived from Judah. Betrays Jesus. Turns on him. What do you do when your Judah turns to Judas when the person who has praised you and celebrated you now turns on you can you still walk with honor with the woman who slept with your husband can you still be in the same room with the person who shared your pictures that you just shared with them and you know it had to be been them because they're the only person that you shared the picture with. And so if it got out, it had to only come from them. Can you still see them and still have honor? All of this suffering is derived from that suffering. A Roman death was meant to be two things. Elder Hardich, it was meant to be painful and public. That's why it was done on a high mountain peak. So that everyone passing could see and marvel and be intimidated by the might of Rome and how they punished their criminals. But you see, the law was given on a mountain peak called Sinai. So it's only befitting that grace would be given on a mountain peak called Calvary. Tell somebody he has a Calvary for your Sinai season. There's a New Testament for your Old Testament. There is grace. For your mistake. For every sunny eye, there is a Calvary. He suffered there, carrying a cross on his shoulder until Simon the Cyrene, the black man that is comes and helps him carry that cross. He's there, sixth to the ninth hour, 
And how does he handle this level of suffering? He starts singing. Daniel, he starts singing. Oh, no, I know we have the seven last sayings of Jesus. But you do understand that five out of the seven last sayings were actually songs. Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. Psalm twenty-two, eighteen. My Lord, why hast thou forsaken me? Psalm 22, 1 and 2. I thirst, Psalm 69 and 21. It is finished, Psalm 22, 31. Into thy hand I commend my spirit, Psalm 31 and 5. The man is on the cross suffering and he's singing a song. Ask your neighbor, can you sing in the middle of your suffering? I told you, you got to suffer honorably. You got to go through this thing honorably. I sing. I know you sing because you happy. You sing because you free. But guess what, baby? I sing because I'm hurting. I'm singing because I'm unpaid. I'm singing because there's nails in my hand. I'm singing. I'm through church. <laughs> Prophesy to your neighbor and tell him God's going to give you your song back. Hey. I said tell somebody God's going to give you your song back. Come on, you don't hear me. I said, God's going to give you your song. You may be seated. I, I've got the clothes. Hallelujah. You may be seated. He's there. Thank you, Lord. Listen to me. He's hanging there on the cross. And the Bible says that he's singing with two thieves. Taekwon, he's with two thieves. Because somehow or another, the life of Jesus for all the bougie saints that don't want to evangelize him, somehow or another, Jesus seems to be uh, always found hanging with criminals. Pun intended, you see. He's hanging. Hanging with criminals. Three of them there. Of course, Jesus represents spirit. It's a tripartite situation. Jesus representing that which is spirit, one obviously representing the flesh, the other one representing the solical realm, three of them hanging there in a tripartite. The scripture in Luke refers to them as a malefactor or malefactors. But because Jesus was in the middle, they were getting ready to be benefactors and had no idea the level of access. that they had one chose not to access the access the problem that I have with this is mark that the law according to the law you were not supposed to crucify more than one person at a time Bellamy According to the law, you were not supposed to crucify more than one person at a time unless they were guilty of the same crime. So I understand the two thieves. 
because they're guilty of the same crime. So, Brandon, why is Jesus hanging up there? It had to happen. The prophecy could be fulfilled. Isaiah says it. But it had to happen so that redemption could be fully realized. In order for full redemption, you see, when man sinned in Eden, there were three involved. The first Adam... Eve and a serpent. So if there's going to be redemption, there would need to be three involved. In Eden, there was the first Adam and then there were two thieves in Eden when man fell. Okay. Uh huh. Well, wait a minute now. So there we have the first Adam and two thieves. Eve, according to Genesis 3 and 6, the scripture says that Eve took the fruit. Took sounds like a thief to me. And then the serpent is there. And the serpent was Satan. And according to John 10 and 10, it tells us that he is a thief. Because the Bible says that the thief comes only but for three reasons. And that is to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But Jesus said, I am come. He says, I am, I am come. Yes, sir, that uh, you might have life. And that you may have it more abundantly. Shake your neighbor's hand and say, neighbor, the thief cometh. But tell them, Jesus said, I am come. Yeah, and uh, there is uh, a fundamental difference uh, between uh, uh, cometh and uh, am come. Oh, Lord, uh, you see, uh, it does not matter how many times uh, the devil shows up. Uh -huh, and uh, it does not matter how many times uh, the enemy tries uh, to knock on your door. Tell your name, um, say name. Uh, all God needs uh, is one time to show up and uh, when he shows up, he's going to handle it. Everything that the enemy has been trying uh, to do to me. Shake your neighbor by the hand and say, neighbor, you ain't preaching tonight. Say, oh, neighbor. Tell them uh, the devil thought he had me. You didn't, you didn't say it. Tell them. Uh, tell them. Uh, tell them uh, the devil thought he had me. But I got away. Ain't God all right? Uh, so now. Uh, you had the two thieves uh, in the garden with the first Adam uh, and uh, in order to redeem the world uh, the last Adam uh, needed to be surrounded uh, by 
not two thieves as well. Uh, and uh, one said, uh, save yourself and save us. And then the other one said, when you come into your kingdom, uh, remember me. It's something interesting about that word. In the Greek language, remember. It has nothing to do with cognition. It has nothing to do with memory. But the word remember in the Greek language deals with putting parts of your body that have been broken back together again. You see, your body parts are called members. And when he says, I've been beaten and I've been broken and I've been battered and God knows I've been scarred. But what I want you to do is remember me. Put me back together. I want to be made whole. Shake your neighbor hand. And say neighbor. Tell them God is getting ready to put you back uh, together again. I know you've been broken. I know you've been wounded. I know you've been battered. But God wants uh, to put you back uh, together again. He said, uh, oh, today, oh, uh, today, you'll be with me in paradise. He asked them for the kingdom, but Jesus gave him paradise. What is paradise? It's a place in God. What is paradise? It's a place with God. It's not a geographical location. Oh Lord, but paradise is in the presence of God. Oh, paradise is right here, right now. If you can receive it, tell your neighbor, 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 we're in paradise. We're with him right now. We're in his presence. Ain't God all right? I'm through church. God knows I've held you too long. But he died. I said he died. He died. Oh. Sometimes it causes me to tremble, tremble, tremble. Were you there? Were you there when they crucified my Lord? He died until the earth began to shake like a drunken man. He died until the blood pressure in the moon shot up and the moon dripped away in blood. He died until the sun 
refuse to shine because the S-U-N could not shine while the S-O-N was on the cross dying. He died. He died for your sins. He died for my sins. I owed a debt that I could not pay. But he He did not owe. Uh, ain't the Lord all right? Uh, nailed his hand. Uh, if you think I'm going to fight, uh, nail my hand. Uh, if you think I'm going to kick, uh, if you think I'm going to run, uh, put nails in my feet. Uh, you got to piss me in my side uh, so salvation can come. Uh, because the only way. Uh, Salvation can come is by blood and water. You've got to be washed in the blood, and you got to go down in that water in the name of the Jesus Christ. Oh, but whatever you do. He said, don't lift me up, cause I heard him say, if I, oh, if I, oh, if I, be lifted up from the earth, I'll draw all men, the white man, the black man, your crack smoking cousin, the prostitute, the whoremonger, the homosexual. I'll draw all men under me. Yes, he died so that I can live. Reverend gonna get him up on Sunday morning. But I wanna tell you just one time. I said I wanna tell you that they laid him down in a borrowed tomb. But just like your orange juice. I said, just like your orange juice, huh? tell your neighbor bright early, huh? Sunday morning, huh? he got up huh? with all power, huh? can I say it like I feel it, huh? <laughs> y'all ain't happy enough. <laughs> Sunday morning, all power, I got that power living in me right now, that's why I can suffer and still sing, that's why I can suffer and still praise him, cause I got power, shake your neighbor by the hand for the last time, and say neighbor, I don't know what you've been going through, but tell me it won't always be like this, tell him God will perfect that which concerns you, sooner than later, with the had a church now, sooner than later, it's going to turn in your favor, turn around one time, and say it's turning around for me, I feel a turn, I feel a turn in my finances, I feel a turn on my job, I feel a turn in my home. I feel a 
your turn. Tell your neighbor, I'm coming out of it in power. Just like Jesus, I'm getting up. I'm coming back with power. Y'all ain't happy. I want you to prophesy one last time and say this is your bounce back season. Somebody leap three times and say, I'm bouncing back. I'm not going to end this month week. I say, I'm not going to end this month week. Say I'm not gonna end this month week. I tell them, "Baba, baba, hosa, mama, baba, 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 shanda." I say I'm not gonna end this month week. I'm not gonna end this month week. If you really believe. <laughs>
and the devil's a liar. He got to loose his hands off of my entire blood. Oh, shut up. Come on, let her worship for, for 30 seconds. Come on, come on, come on, lift your voices. Hallelujah. Hey, I'm going to give it up. I, I am. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory. Thank you, Jesus. Pastor and Pastor Williams, I just want to just share this brief word of knowledge. Aya, this is your season that you'll recover all. Everything. This is your bounce back season. As God has promised you and showed it to you and given you grace to flow in an apostolic level. Don't tuck it away. Don't hide it. 
Don't try and compromise it. Embrace it. Because it's global, it's international, it's, it's worldwide. That's why people have been reaching out to you from other countries and nations, even via social media, it's just been a grace on you. And it's like, Lord, after the season that I've come out of, I don't have the strength and not even the desire to cover and do all of this. But God says, for your shame, I'm going to give you double. Woman of God, hold on to your intercession. Everything that it feels like you've lost, God told me to tell you that he's seen it, he's heard it, and he's strengthened you. You didn't even talk about it, you didn't tell anybody about it. But God says that that season of that storm is over. You're going to reach this set place and pay. And it's going to be like, Lord, I don't even know where it came from. It's not by power nor by might. It's such a new season for you. Embrace it. Embrace it. Call some of the ones that you know have been assigned to you. They've been assigned to you and you just, you just couldn't, you just didn't have the capacity in that season. God said, recruit them. Come on back. Recruit them and come on back. Bring them back. Bring them back. Because he's getting ready to cause double to come in your life. Can the church open up your mouth and say something to Hallelujah. He has made me glad. Oh, he has made me glad. I will rejoice for he, my God, come on, has made me glad. He has made me glad. Oh, he has made me glad. Come on, tell your neighbor the devil tried to embarrass you. But tell them God's going to cause you to smile again. I will rejoice. Oh, six. I will rejoice. You don't hear me. I know I've kept you long enough. Oh, but I will rejoice. For he. I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm glad. So glad, so glad, so glad. I will rejoice. He has made me glad, 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 glad. I'm glad, I'm glad, I'm glad. So glad, so glad, so glad. Mm. If you're here and you're not saved or you're unsure, I want you to come, come to the altar. If you're not saved tonight, I, I, I don't. I'm gonna receive a gift, but I, before I do that, I just, if you are unsaved, I will rejoice. Give your life to the Lord. Thank God. Come on, clap your hands and praise God tonight. Thank God. You may be seated. Be seated for about two or three minutes, and I'm going to relinquish. Uh, I pray our bus driver don't leave us. <laughs> Lord, have mercy. Mm -hmm. 
such a glory in this house. You know, you don't do no singing when Antoine Cook is in the church. You just you don't say, you don't say. I want to receive a gift tonight and I want to obey the Lord. It seems to be a, a little bit unconventional, but uh, I want to obey the Lord. Um, there are five of us tonight that are going to trust the Lord with a seat of $500. And um, there are at least 50 of us that are going to trust the Lord with a seat of $50. Now, I'm saying $500 because that's a little unconventional. You know, the laws of raising offerings and seed offerings, I'm breaking them right now. I'm breaking those protocols and those laws. But see, I have to put this seed in the ground because TGC, we believe in the Lord for some grace like this. <laughs> <laughs> Everything in my life I can trace back to a seed. Everything in my life I can trace back to a seed. And uh, I was 12 years old. My daddy, who's gone home to be with the Lord, had me on an allowance of $20 a week. Now, in 1998, 1999, that was money for a 12 year old. I was on allowance of $20 a week. A preacher was up, and I heard the voice of the Lord clearly tell me, give your allowance, that $20, give that to the preacher. I walked up there and gave my entire $20 to the preacher. He received it. He stopped me in my track and said, young man, there's a calling on your life. God's going to take you to the nation, so forth and so on. He said, the Lord told me to give you $200. And then he said, he said, I want everybody in this church to give to this young man. I walked out of that church that day with $2,000. I'm sure my mom is watching. My mom is watching. She can remember that. Um, but I learned very early that if I was 12 years old, I gave a $20 seed and reaped the harvest of $2,000. This seed sowing thing works. There are a few of us that really need to trust the Lord. I'm really trusting the Lord. I'm stretching out on faith tonight. Hallelujah. I'm stretching out on faith tonight. Amen. I need those that are sowing that. Uh, it's this is, and I'm telling you, I don't do this. Like this is not me, but this is God. And I just go trust them. And amen. Those that are sowing that $500 seed with me, I want you to, to stand really quickly. Wow. 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 Thank God. Amen. See, I sold my pastor. You know, some people be acting like that. You see, people be acting like they're doing nothing. One, two, three, four, five. Wow, that's amazing. Yeah, are, we, are there any overflows here tonight? Any overflows? Mm. We'll rejoice, I will rejoice. Thank God. Those that are sowing that seed of 500, Father, we thank you that by resurrection we're going to receive the harvest on this particular seed and I give you glory tonight I give you honor tonight in Jesus name somebody said pastor uh, I don't have that 500 or that's just not what I'm feeling led to do but I just heard the Lord drop in my spirit there are a few of you that the Lord put in your spirit a hundred dollar seed I want you to stand really quickly. If you know that $100 resonated with you, come on. There's got to be one. Okay, two. Thank you. Come on. Let's thank the Lord. Come on. Thank God. Come on. We're talking about harvest here. We're talking about being obedient to God. Father, we thank you for this level of giving. Thank you for this level of increase. Oh, my, 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 my. 
Come on, one of the words for money is currency. Father, I pray that money would begin to flow in their direction. Let it hit them in the morning. In the name of Jesus. Thank you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, don't miss it. Don't miss it. There's something attached to this seed. Tell somebody there's something attached to this seed. Where are the 50 of you that the Lord said is going to stand with this jubilee seed of $50? Really quickly. Quickly. Come on. Pop up. Just pop up. Pop up. Come on. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's right on time. Come on. We've got young people sowing tonight. Isn't that all right? 50. Amen. I, I spit that at the movie theater. My wife wanted to go to see Color Purple because I'm saved. I don't go to the moving picture show. I go to the moving picture show. And then she got there and wanted popcorn and pretzels. And Rev, I was like, hey, we can, we can stuff this stuff in your purse. Let's go to the gas station. Jaden, let's go to this gas station. How about we go to that honey ham? Huh? <laughs> Amen. Come on, there are about 10 more of you that need to stretch your faith tonight. This is a seat of honor right here. Come on, there's a seat of honor. Trust him. There's a, there's a grace in this house. I, when I tell you I've seen my brother operate in a level of grace, concerning finances y'all better get up under this that's why I got up under it I, I text him I said hey I don't you know I don't have uh, Michael Todd money but you know <laughs> I don't have it yet yes and all of these look 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 um, those of you that are online tonight you got to catch this because we've got the apparatuses and modalities here um those of you that are online, this is the same grace. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this jubilee seed. Thank you for the windows of heaven being open. Lord, we're not giving this out of abundance because there are other things we could be doing with this money. But I pray, Anasha, that you would cause our head to swim in so much favor and we can trace it back to the seed that we've sown in Jesus name thank God come on clap your hands for that now let me tell you something let me tell you something never be embarrassed of your seed you that are online you got to sow something tonight you, if you are watching right now you got to sow something never be embarrassed of your seed because the reason why you give is because you'll never be broke again. Let me tell you something. I gave $2 and $2 until I was able to give $1,000. I want you to get the best thing in your hand. I want you to stand. I want to pray for you. I want to pray. Just the best thing in your hand. I, the best thing in your hand. Thank God. And I want you to stand. I want to pray really quickly. Come on, everybody with a seat in your hand. Just... The best thing you can. 20, 10, 5. Don't lie to the Holy Ghost. Lord God, one of your names in Scripture is God of the harvest. And Father, as we're sowing tonight, manifest yourself as God of the harvest. I tell us. Thank you right now, Lord, that we will not be in lack, we will not be in debt supernatural favor and increase shall flow into our lives in Jesus name amen now for those that may have cash or something I, I know that we have uh, receptacles to receive it you want to get into this tonight amen hallelujah we have come into this house gathered in his name take it Daniel to worship him ah, we have
Can we put our hands together and celebrate the gift that is Pastor Johnny Brown? Oh, we can do better than that. He poured out of his spirit on tonight. Come on, let's celebrate him. We are grateful and honored for the word of the Lord. Even in this, in this atmosphere, we are so excited about what it is God's doing here. And uh, we don't want to stop anybody from receiving the blessing of being connected to this great church. This is a church that does not just have good church, but we have connected with our community. We are doing great things. And if you are here under the sound of our voices and you know what? This is a church I want to be a part of. This is a church family that I want to connect with. We want to give you an opportunity just to come from wherever you are. Come right up on here. Why? Because we want to love on you. We want to throw our arms around you. We've been waiting for you. We've been praying for you. And I promise you, once you connect with the Spirit and Truth Church family, the best is yet to come. Come on, let's, 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 let's celebrate right now. If I'm talking to you and you would love to join this great church, just come. Just come at this time. Come at this time. Spirit of truth, let's celebrate the souls that God is sending from the north, from the south, from the east, and from the west. We're getting ready to dismiss. Do me a favor, everybody. Let's stand to our feet as we get ready uh, to dismiss. Amen. Amen. I want to make you uh, aware, or really just reiterate the announcements that our pastor uh, gave us earlier on. Tomorrow, uh, we will have our Springdale Fest. Amen? Uh, we are going to be loving on the community. Now, when the community comes out, guess what? We want them to see us in action. Amen? Amen. So we are we are praying. We are asking all of our spirit and truth church family to be here. We want we don't want them to come and hang out by themselves. We want them to see not just our pastor but the members of this great church. That's going to start tomorrow at 11 a.m. until 3 p.m. and then we will have our resurrection services. Sunday morning will be our sunrise service 7 a.m. at our south campus and then we will be back here at the temple for 10 a.m and 12 p.m. And then on next Saturday, on next Saturday, we will have our youth day. We will have our youth day 12 to 3 p.m. And 
I like that. I like that. I like that. And it is going to be at the Marietta campus. Before we dismiss, um, you know we are in uh, uh, the conclusion. We're almost to the finish line of our renovation process here. And because of that, we have some work that is going to be going on tomorrow. So I need all men. Somebody say men. I need all men, once we dismiss, I need you to run up here and just see our head deacon, Deacon George, and he is going to give us our marching orders on what it is that we need to do. Amen? Are you glad that you came to church on tonight? Wonderful. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we love you. We bless you. We honor you. Oh God, we thank you for the word that was deposited into our spirit on today. God, thank you for the Genesis Church for traveling over the highways and byways to be with us on today. God, we're asking now that you grant them traveling mercies as they head back to their destination. God, as we leave this place, but never your presence, allow your protective angels to watch all around us. And we promise to continue to give your name the glory, the honor, and the praise. And it is in Jesus' name that we pray. Every heart said amen. Amen. You are dismissed. All men, please see Deacon George up here at the front. Thank you for being a part of our Spirit and Truth virtual experience today. We pray that you felt the divine presence of God and received the life-changing word that has the power to transform your life. Remember, this is not the end, but just the beginning of a deeper relationship with God and connection here at Spirit and Truth. And last but not least, remember, God is a spirit and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth.